It's actually not uncommon for an ambulance to break down on a call. Unfortunately, like most of us, the ambulances you see on the road have a ridiculously high mileage. I think the highest mileage ambulance I ever worked out of before it finally died in the middle of a transport was like 450,000 miles. And that's amateur hour compared to some of these places. You get these trucks and you run them until things fall off of them to the point that they don't work anymore. Kind of like how management treats a lot of the crews on the trucks. The first job that I ever had was comprised of a bunch of second-hand ambulances that after we ran the VIN numbers turned out to be second-hand taxis from Canada. In fact, the first time that I broke an ambulance, I was driving one of these bastards down the road when I heard a loud clanking noise. I went and picked my boss up, and we hopped back on the interstate so I could try to replicate the noise so he could hear it. I didn't really know a whole lot about vehicles. I didn't know what sound the drive shaft made when it was about to break, and I certainly didn't know what sound a bell housing made when it exploded. But that's what happened in the